Today we're in Coral Springs to replace the check valve on this irrigation system. We have our indexing valve here, the pump, the timer, and the check valve is right there. Now, let me get this taken apart and then I'll show you how I took it apart to make it easy to replace that check valve. All right, now that we've got the intake line excavated down to the bottom 90, we're ready to cut out this section of pipe and we're going to detach this union right here, which will then allow the whole pump to be free. And then we can replumb the intake line back into the pump and be able to move the pump around. We just have to make sure that once we do all that, it'll line up here so that when we screw this back together, we don't have a leak. All right, let's get that done. I'm not really a fan of these indexing valves because they're super inefficient, but for situations where I have to replace a check valve like this, that union makes doing this way easier. So as you can see, I've got everything rebuilt and all I have to do is put in the final 90. And there it is, all put together. All right, 